Lloyd. Lloyd JD, the best fucking podcast in the world. I am Lloyd. I'm JD, and I'm not just taking photographs of us this time. <laughs> second time. <laughs> Did the intro. It's never as good the second time. I know, I know. It's always kind of a weird thing that happens, you know, when tech stuff happens, you know. But it's, it happens. It happens. It happens all the time. So, so it's just got to live with it and, you know. Move on. Move, move on forward. So it's 420 today. Yeah. When this comes out, it won't be 420 today. No, no. I'm but you will still probably be as <laughs> high as you're looking right now. <laughs> Mistakes were made. <laughs> Mistakes were made on the way to the podcast. <laughs> a mix of epic proportions. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It was a planned, planned mistake. Yeah. All right. So how are you, man? Yeah. I haven't seen you in forever. I haven't been here forever. I don't know if the recordings, I haven't even been watching. Yeah. You know, so yeah. I no, the, we, we uh, watch a little bit of your poutine thing. Yeah, yeah, I went out for uh, poutine with a purpose to uh, help Look, support meal share and went like to a lot of poutine gravy bowl event. And I was disappointed with the amount of beer he gave you in that cup. Oh, <laughs> the little half of like, the what, little shot glass. Like, what the fuck is this? Yeah, more please, sir. <laughs> <laughs> they weren't all like that. Some of the guys were filling it right, right up to the brim, and again you know, and again. Yeah, it was. Uh, oh, they, they were all very, very. I've been lining up with fake mustaches. I would have yeah. had like four or five in my pocket. No, you could just walk up. Oh, really? It wouldn't okay, even matter. It's not like Halloween where you got to change your outfit just to I get would another still beer. Still change the mustache <laughs> just for <laughs> just for fun. Well, hello there. I've never been here before. <laughs> I've never <laughs> tried your beer before. <laughs> Fill me up, please. Exactly. <laughs> Is that a fake mustache? Not <laughs> at all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 No, it was a, it was a good time. We had uh, a lot of fun and ate a lot of poutine. You at like the end of it, I was uh, a little bit hurting. As much as I love poutine, I was hurting at the end. <laughs> it's funny yeah. because someone at work watched for a bit, uh, as much as I try to avoid that. Um, and from watching like a bunch of episodes throughout a year, he yeah. gathered that you liked poutine. Yeah. That was one of the things he took away from the podcast. That I like poutine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it's I think it's known uh, yeah. well I, I think it is known I mean it was uh, like I said it was nice enough for the, like for who the fuck invite. doesn't like poutine you don't like poutine that you're a serial killer or something there's something wrong with you you're a weirdo it's, it's a gravy good and potato. comfort food right you know never understood that saying what do you mean by good food is just, just called comfort just food just a comfort food is it where shit for you is that why it's called comfort food what's that is that why they call it comfort food? Because it's shit for you. Uh, no, more that you can just kind of sit down and enjoy it and you, you feel, you know, uh, who does satisfied. You, who doesn't sit down and enjoy every meal they have? If you're not enjoying every meal you have, there's right, something fucking Right, but I mean, if you eat a you. bundle of carrots, like, it's not who comfort food. Who the fuck eats a bundle of carrots? <laughs> well, I'm just saying. I've never done yeah. that. Or, you know. That's agony. I, I don't think anybody eats, like, a, a, a nice, you know, Cobb salads go, you know, I feel, you know, nice and warm inside and all that kind of good. It's like, they I don't eat I it. Ate. Yeah. I try to hit that mark every, you know, breakfast, lunch and dinner. Yeah. Well, maybe you're just living the comfort food life. <laughs> I was going to end on me soon. I'm maybe, guessing maybe. the older I get, <laughs> it's, you know, it'll just implode. Maybe you should just have a shirt that says comfort food for life. <laughs> <laughs> I'm at some point in time, I'm going to have to start working out. Yeah. yeah. And being healthy. I mean, and even that, or I you will know, die when I'm like it's, 35. It's, it's a fleeting battle sometimes, I feel like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's tough to exercise. Exercise is boring. Uh, it depends what you do. Like, I mean, like, fuck gyms straight up. It's fucking, I, it's hurt, man. Like, I hate working out in front of people. Of all the things you want to do in front of someone, working out is probably not one of them. Like, I'm not one of those guys that sits in the gym and is like, oh, yeah, you see that? Like, no matter how big I get, I don't, that's weird. I, I like to work at home in the safety of my house. Right. Fuck, right. I'll lift a milk jug before The gym is kind of like its own it's little expensive. weird place, right? It has its own kind of dynamics. Everyone there is a douchebag. It's I'm sorry, like social I'm, I'm sure that there's like 10% of the people in gyms that aren't douchebags. Well, I'm sure there's a good chunk that And why is there not. always an old man in the locker room that refuses to get dressed? Do you even notice that? Like, they have a shower and it's just like the oldest, wrinkliest guy in there and he'll just be naked for like... Ever. Well, you know what like, that is, right? Like, you'll go in, change, wash your face, put your shit away, lock your locker. He's still fucking naked. Like, he's had all this yeah. time to fucking put clothes on. That's called payback. 
No, that's not. It's pay- called payback. It's because called the whole old time, man. the whole time he's been in the gym, right? You've had a bunch of roid monkeys <laughs> strutting around, like are you gonna, are you gonna stay on this machine or what? You know, and like making him feel bad and all this kind of stuff. And then he gets in the locker room. He's like, you know, I ain't done shit to him. Fuck you guys. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pay you back and make you uncomfortable, like you made me feel uncomfortable. The only way I know how, and it's looking at my wrinkly and they, like, sack. Dry their <laughs> with their leg up on the bench, like no man, no. <laughs> Doing the Pose down. <laughs> like, I will never fucking shower. I can't think of a situation where I can't quickly drive home and shower. I yeah. can't do it. There's, there is more pubes on the floor of a gym shower yeah. than I've... Shower sandals, my oh, friend, shower sandals. Uh, gross. No, yeah. not happening. It's just, you know, some people, they go, they work out, they go to work, they do whatever. It's it's part of go a routine. shower. It's going to add, you know, time into your day. Depends where your gym if is, I guess. If you got time to go to fucking work out before work, you got time to go shower. I what job do you have? Like, I start work at like six in the morning. What time are you going to the gym? Four in the morning? Uh, me, I start at five. So. You start at five in the morning, like work? I start five in the morning, like working out. Fuck every day. you. That's fucking. <laughs> something wrong with you, man. You got to do it. No, you don't. Yeah. Otherwise, I'd be like one of those guys you see on TLC where they got to get the forklift to get them out of the bed. <laughs> what what count in the evening? What's that? What count in the evening? Uh, I find that if I start doing things, then it becomes a non-priority. My right? job is a workout. If I worked out before I went to work, I just wouldn't want to work. Right, right. Like climbing with stones and such. Yeah. Well, and that's the thing, you know, it's, I don't think it I depends on mason- what you do for a living will make a big difference. Yeah, I don't on think you. I fought masonry through before I... <laughs> you, you didn't realize that work was going to be work? <sighs> it's a or you didn't, work. you didn't feel it was going to be that physical labor? Yeah, it's yeah. so tough on your body. Like, how many yeah, years can you really do that for? I'm well, already, and I've done it for a year and I'm already like, fuck, man, I'm tired. <laughs> and, and, and that's the crazy thing. Like, if you watch, you know, like... Politics, uh, unfortunately, has been a huge thing the last few weeks, which we're not going to get hugely into. But they're talking about rolling back the retirement age because people are living longer. So, you know, it's like and people are working longer. So it's like, oh, we'll just roll back the age and then we're going to roll it back to something like 75. Like, could you imagine laying bricks at 75? I can't imagine laying bricks next year. (laughs) Um, But (laughs) like, no, I don't want to fucking work when I'm 75. But this is where an argument comes in because I read a a thing on that guy who dedicated his life. I think he was Chinese. I don't know. I'm just probably going to get it wrong. So there's no point me even putting a race on it. But he was from somewhere and he, he spent his entire life researching like living long and living healthy. And one of his, when he died, he gave like his tips, what his resolve what he came up with for his entire life and he's one of his things was don't retire early because when people retire they lose what is keeping them going almost and a lot of some people it it results in an earlier death this was one of his things so and obviously not to worry throughout your life because worry yeah. will kill you stress will kill you yeah which is obvious thanks <laughs> you've worked your whole life to tell me stress killed yeah. me thanks bud <laughs> yeah, that, those chest pains I'm getting when the wrench do. Oh, okay, yeah, I figured that was killing me. Yeah. So, um, but, so these people are dying earlier because they're going, but then I don't know if that would be me. And we're like, I think the argument comes in at work. Like there's a lot of different guys, a lot of different personalities. And some of those guys, they wouldn't know what to do about work. Work is their life. Like right. literally like, and they love work. It's fucking. It's super fucked up and weird. Like they are like conformed to the fullest. Yeah. <laughs> like, they love working for the man. They love the night. They, they'll work long hours. They'll work. They don't matter. They just love it. And they make the rest of us normal folk look bad because we're like, well, fuck, I don't want to work the weekend. Fuck off. I don't yeah. want to work overtime. I want to go fucking home and see my family. Do they really want to work it or are they just Honestly, addicted to the money? I don't know. And they, But when you talk to them about like having time off and they're like, oh man, I got so bored. I don't know what to do. And those are the people I feel that die. Right. They lose like a sense of purpose almost. And it seems like, you know, an older gentleman that we just lost, no, he didn't die. <laughs> <laughs> so <Terrified. anyway. laughs> he left and, um, but he got fired. And then, uh, he was saying like, I don't know what I'm going to do with myself. Like, and he was like scared about not working and he'd like, he was a old man. And it was like, I'm completely different. Like I'm on a different mindset. Like you give me a day. I've got so many fucking hobbies that I can't fit it all in on my days off. I still 
go back after like go back to work after my days off thinking fuck i didn't do this i didn't do that i wanted to right. do this i've got so much i want to do yeah work gets in the way of my life where these guys it seems like and i think that's a better their balance work, their work is their life and it yeah. kills you i think yeah. that's what kills you when you people make work their life and that's why this early retirement is killing people because they're fucking losing like they've got no they are no one but work they don't right. have any hobbies they don't have they don't know what their interests are almost it's just like the guys at work are just interested in stone it's like for fuck's sake guys uh, yeah figure it out like this ain't life right we do this because we have to we're not doing this because if you're actually doing masonry because you're passionate i still can't see you wanting to lug around a conformative brick house that's not like passionate masonry would be like making stuff out of stone and like building beautiful structures like we used to when we built like castles that are still standing in England. Like we don't build anything like that today. That's not what masonry is today. Masonry yeah. is mind numbing bricklaying or it's lick and stick, fucking sticking stones to the outside of a fucking house. It's lost 90% of its art form. Yeah. You can still get art form out of put like how you arrange the stones on the wall. It's like a puzzle, which, but 90% of what masonry used to be like the Freemasons was revolved around masonry because they had knowledge, knowledge of so many things of how to build, how to build massive, amazing structures. Yeah. We don't do much of that anymore. You know, I'm sure there's companies out there that do restorations on castles and stuff that still keep that alive. But the commercial of masonry is quite mind-numbing. Yeah, right. mind like we work for the man. We work because we have to pay rent. We work because we have to feed our families. Yeah. Other than that, fuck off. Yeah. I like my life. You know yeah. what I mean? Like I have so many things I want to do, so many things I want to accomplish that don't involve work. Yeah. And even like people are like, oh, we'll do the job that makes you happy. There isn't a job out there. There isn't a job that I want to do every day, all day. I want to, I'm such like, I just got so many different interests. I want to do a bunch of things, but money inhibits that. So you have to find one of them to stabilize you. Yeah. I, I have friends like that. You know, it's like, what are you doing this weekend? You want to hang out? And it's like, no, no, I, I'm, I got a couple doubles. I got to work, you know, yeah. two, se two shifts. It's, it's, you know, it's like, oh, that's got to suck. No, it's awesome. It's awesome. <laughs> and they'll and they'll do that all the time. It's like, yeah, I got like they make you feel like I you're got, not. Yeah, I got like fourteen you're... overtimes this month, and it's like, oh, great, man! Like you worked an extra, you know, <laughs> like <Woo! laughs> two weeks in, you know, less than a month. And, and and what they'll do is they'll just kind of plow through it, and then it's kind of you know, it's like, well, we're going to Mexico for a week. It's yeah. a big thing. It's like we're going to Mexico for a week, and they do that once a year, and it's like. That's it. <laughs> yeah. And during that time, like you see the photographs, you and usually, you usually week off. They're, they're overdoing it, right? Like yeah. they're just, you know, drinking excessively, partying, like cramming too much stuff. And then they're just like, oh, I'm so hurt. And they almost didn't back. even relax. <laughs> and it's like, oh, man, like, you know, you're going too hard. Yeah. You know, or, or they literally just get bored. They don't know what to yeah. do with themselves. You know, I have one friend like his his whole deal is uh, essentially he'll work and then it's extra time. He'll like open his garage door and sit in there and drink. <laughs> yeah, fucking thrilling. You know, it's, <laughs> I just, you no know, no interests at all. No, that's, like, and that's I like, don't interest. get me wrong, though. I like sitting down and having a drink and yeah. looking off my balcony, yeah. but it doesn't consist of my entire night. Yeah. And I don't mind going over his garage and hanging out for an hour or two every once in a while stuff. And we, we chit chat about stuff and that's cool. But I mean, it's, you know, e even then a lot of times those conversations revolve around work, yeah. you know, and it's, it's, I fucking hate that too. And I try to cut that out of my life. Anyone yeah. that wants to talk about work when I'm not at work, like even at lunch break, like shut the fuck up. Yeah. I'm not paid for this half an hour, motherfucker. <laughs> Can you shut up? You know, I don't want to talk yeah. about what we're going to do after lunch because I'm not being paid to talk about fucking work right now. Yeah. I don't like that. But everyone just wants to talk about it. Sometimes I just want to eat lunch by myself. Yeah. So I don't have to listen to them talk about brick because I will fucking implode. Yeah. I just don't have it in me to like work to that extent. Like you get me and it's like they want more bosses always want more it's like you get me for so much time you take so much time for me yeah nine ten hours a day you take from me and you want more 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 like fuck off yeah when are you ever gonna be like you know what yeah fuck you know i got a good boss i do get along with my boss um but as just like any of us he wants more right all the time but you know i can talk to him sometimes be like no more yeah and i'm not that guy that you can just milk yeah you know i i'm loyal i'm a loyal worker i don't do anything where i'm stealing or taking money or you know but 
I don't like, I don't like overtime. I don't, he's like, don't you want the hours? It's like, yeah, it's like a, it's a love hate battle with me. I like the money, but not that much. Right, right. It does take a little bit of stress away from me, but I think the real lesson is to try and learn to live with the stress of maybe not having all the money in the world because I just don't. See, I think people get addicted to the money. I really do but think But then you're working really so much, you don't money. even know what to use it on. Well, you don't even have any interest to use it on. And then you end up just buying work equipment. Or you end up buying things that, you know, you don't necessarily need. It's like you have a house, let's say, and then it's like, well, if I work more, I can have a house that's like four times the size. Yeah. It's like... Well, that's been worked. But you never they work themselves into the corner where now they have to work as much yeah. as they work just to suffice well, all the toys. Well, and there's a big part of that as well, right? Yeah. I mean, you see it. It's not uncommon, you know, for people in Alberta, I've seen, you know, essentially they will work. And when they're working, the times they're working good. like, you know, so many days in a row and so many hours and they just overdo it. And the money is really, really good. And then they turn around and they buy, you know, the big pickup truck that's lifted. Boo! And then, the you know, the quad <laughs> and then, you know, all sorts of stuff and they buy all these toys. Yeah. And then the moment that things start going bad is, you know, it's you get, they get rid of all those things months. and they, they don't even have, you know, kind of that nest egg and then they struggle. Right. And I mean, it's, yeah. it's a horrible situation to put yourself in. But I mean, the truth of the matter is, is that people I don't think think about, you know, managing their money. No. You know, and you know, it's it's kind of always comparing yourself to other people, which is never a good thing. If you compare yourself to other people, it's like, oh, why don't I live in a mansion? Why don't I drive a Lamborghini? Why don't I do this? Why don't I go to, you know, all these yeah. things? You're gonna be miserable your entire fucking life because <laughs> there is somebody that always has that much more than you. You know what? If you're surrounded by good people and you know you can you can eat and have good food you're already winning in life, I yeah. think, in the, the at good that point. Yeah, the good food's big, know. too. Like, you're eating good. Well, the what? thing is with food is it's kind of one of those things that uh, across the board, you know, people, it doesn't matter where you're from, food brings everybody together, and that's, you know... Yeah, and it's a feeling of the beauty warmth of it, right? and home, yeah. and I'm doing well when yeah. you're able to cook a good meal for your family. It means yeah. you're doing well. Absolutely. Because some people aren't able to do that. Yeah. So, I mean, as long as you got those two things down, I think you're doing all right, but, yeah. you know... Some people, they just they just want to live. They want to be, you know, perceived as big and doing well and wealthy and all that kind of stuff. And but I think a lot boring, of times, man. Like, a lot of time, I think it's just a front, man. It's just people just want to put it out there, even though it's not true. And they could be miserable and working themselves to death and, you know, yeah. a whole bunch of things. And then they feel, like you said, committed to it. You know, it's like. Hey, I bought myself this, you know, now I got a beautiful house and all this kind of stuff. And I have to, you know, make like two, you know, a thousand dollars or two thousand dollars, you know, three thousand dollars a month. I see it at work all the time, guys that need 10 hours a day. Yeah. If I don't get 10 or more hours a day, I can't pay my bills. And it's like, what the fuck are you paying for, man? Like, right. Well, I'm confused. Like, that's a lot of fucking money. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's, that's living, yeah. you know, at, at a point that you're beyond that. And if you're stuck in that trap, that's that's got to be a scary thing. And I mean, it's, you got to be pretty miserable. And then I think that's what happens when, like you suggest, the guy that, you know, retires and he doesn't know what to do because you get stuck in that trap. It's like, I have to work 10 hours a day. I have to work 10 yeah, hours boom, a day. You're doing nothing. I need a little bit of extra. So I'm going to work 12 hours a day, 12 hours yeah. a day. And you just, you and get stuck in that. And then next thing you know, you're 60 and it's like, um, doing fuck where to go. Right. Cause you've beaten your body to death and you've, you know, given away the best years of your life and so you don't yeah. have a ton to show for it. I just kind of look, look to look at things. I don't really know what the future holds for me. Like a lot of guys at work, just they super plan ahead, but right. I, I don't have anxiety to that extent, like, because who knows what the future holds, right? You know, yeah. But um, yeah, I don't like to work myself to the bone. I'm not lazy by any means. No, and I think there's a big difference between being lazy. Yeah. Right. You can have a lazy guy that shows I just up understand for twelve my hours a day. Like I'm a human man, and like the most expensive thing in the world is time. Yeah. It's your most valuable asset. Yeah. So you have a finite amount. You only have so much. You don't know when it runs out. Exactly. I mean, you know, you want to, I, I would think I would rather do a lot of things other than. It's like work. that saying, like never on your deathbed, do you regret not making that extra dollar? Yeah. Well, if you're you, never going to be able to spend all the money you make. No. And you're just going to regret not having the time with people that you love. Yeah. That's the most. Or important. doing the things that you wanted to do. Exactly. And I've got so many things to do. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's true I, I think that's it's you know for everybody everybody has that list I think of things they want to do one thing that can help you too is always having something in your mind that you have left to do yeah 
always keeps you going a little bit. Yeah. Uh, I've, oh no, I still haven't done that. I still haven't done that. I need yeah. to do. And I would hope when you transition, like talking about the guy that has, you know, dies right after retirement because he's lost his way, you would hope that that person has a list of things. It's like, okay, now I can do this. Now I can yeah. do that. And now I can do all these kind of things, you know, and hopefully, you know, live a good, healthy retirement where they, you know, Ugh. have a retirement. lot of fun. Means you're old. <laughs> don't want to be other old. Part. I, I, I think we do it backwards sometimes. I don't want to be old. Yeah. But that's all we have time for this week. Oh, so depressing. I'm Lloyd. I'm Katie. <laughs> Bye. See ya. <laughs>